to a 10 year younger version of Imran Khan? Don't be dumb. <laughs> I was so dumb. The world's not black and white. 10 years ago. Yeah. 10 years ago, I, I, I thought I knew a lot of things that I really didn't. So, um, uh, there's a, if, if there was one I had picked to give myself advice off, of everyone, everyone who has knowledge is someone who has more. And above all of that is Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's how I'd be. Yeah. What about Sheikh Omar? Same question. Um, essentially, I mean, it's, just, it's, the same, it's the same thing, subhanAllah, not to be, uh, to have something called intellectual humility, which uh, Brother Nu'man did a very good video on Quran Weekly. So, I mean, having intellectual humility, not just help with Quran, but the Al-Mu'aneen, but um, focusing on your parents, because subhanAllah, a lot of times we get excited and we think that the door of Jannah, the gate of Jannah is with uh, halaqat and with conventions and with these types of things and what we end up doing is we end up neglecting the most important gates and I think that was uh, the biggest mistake I made but alhamdulillah I, mean, I got to catch myself up before it was too late with that um, Dr. so the most important thing is you know you just you never forget that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's pleasure is with your mother you know just make sure that when you're going home your mother is pleased with you because what you're going to realize eventually when you get involved in Islamic work is that 20, 30 years down the line, uh, you were neglecting the most important aspect of it, which was your parents. So, I mean, just don't forget your parents. That's, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you had a choice to study Islamic studies in America or overseas, if you do overseas? No. Can you repeat your question louder? Sir? Yeah, if I had a chance to go to study Islamic studies in America or go overseas, would I go overseas? I wouldn't. Sorry to disappoint most of you. Why, why is it? Huh? Because um, I, the brief version of this answer is that uh, Islamic studies should be done for a purpose. And a lot of times uh, there is no direct connection between, uh, there's this fantasized idea of I'm going to study Islam and I'm going to be awesome. And how you're going to be awesome, no idea. <laughs> but I, I, so I'm going to be speaking at conventions and that's my idea of awesomeness. Right, we have this really like weird, twisted idea of what Islamic studies is supposed to be. The fundamental purpose of our life is to serve, serve Allah as slaves, serve humanity, for the sake of Allah. Right. So whatever knowledge you're seeking should go towards that goal. Isn't that true? Now, just like you know, when you go to college and you say, "What do you want to do? I want to get a job." So what's your major? Anything that gets me a job. <laughs> you know, and then people who have no idea what they want to do, they say business. <laughs> right? It's like that with Islamic studies. What do you want to study? Islam. What about it? All of it. Because <laughs> what are you going to do afterwards? Everything. There's no, there's no focus.